Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through a quick high level demonstration of Citrix Sharefile. If you're watching this video, chances are you're exploring the solution and you're looking for a secure way not only to store your files but also to share them with maybe internal employees, with customers, and Sharefile is a great solution to do that. Uh, before I jump into the demo really quick, I think it's important to understand the different editions that are available for Sharefile. So you can see them here, they're standard, advanced, and pre premium. Takeaway of this, standard is going to be sufficient for most use cases, so you get the ability to um, securely share as well as store those files with both internal employees as well as customers. Um, do note that Sharefile is licensed as a per employee basis. So note that you know if you have five employees and 300 clients, you only are paying for actually those five employees per active directory user account. And you could create unlimited number of, of client accounts through the Sharefile platform and actually give them specified access to different directories and content and things of that nature. You also get the ability to bring in different cloud repositories into the Sharefile file platform like Google Drive, like OneDrive for Business, so you can display the content for those users that are in the, those various drives. It's not storing those drives in the share file, it's just displaying what's currently in there. So if you're looking to migrate to share file, it's a great solution to show those, those resources to, to your users. Um, there's also advanced edition, and the big takeaway from standard to advanced, in my opinion, as to where I see most of my customers make that switch, is for this Outlook plugin. So if you are an Outlook customer today and you're looking to integrate Sharefile directly into Outlook, advanced edition gives you that capability. You also get a feedback and approval workflow. Personally, I haven't seen a lot of use cases for that, but there are, you know, certain use cases where you're working on a team, maybe you're working on a project and you want a, a you know approval workflow or a feedback workflow for getting feedback on a specific piece of content that you're working on and you could add things like comments, annotations, things of that nature. And then lastly, the big takeaway for premium is if you need e-signature capability. So if you're a law firm or maybe you know a real estate agency, that's a great use case as to why you may need customers to be able to electronically sign their documents. Um, so that's it with the additions here. Um, last thing I wanna mention is Citrix does provide either cloud storage or you could go with the zero gig option, which is on-premises storage. So you have that flexibility of, do you want unlimited cloud storage for your content or do you wanna use your own file server on-premise and connect that up to the share file control plane for, for management. Uh, but let's jump into the demo so you can see the different options for accessing Sharefile. So I'm going to show you the, the end user experience first, and then we can get, jump into the admin side just, just a little bit. We won't go too deep into it. Uh, but you can see here I'm accessing Sharefile. So you're going to have some sort of URL, company name, .sharefile.com, in which users are going to access this environment. You could put multi-factor on Sharefile. So if you want additional security, in my case, I get a one-time password sent to my phone once a week in order to access the environment. So it's not too cumbersome. I just have to put that in once a week. And then I have all of my pieces of content available to me from the, this is a, the web UI. There's also a, a, a Citrix files application, which I'll show you what that looks like in a bit, but this is a web UI experience. And so these, these directories here, this could be my own directory. These could be directories that my colleagues have shared with me. Maybe it's a directory that I created in which I've shared with different customer accounts and we can see all the resources and they can upload different content in that directory as well. So you have a bunch of different options here. I'm just gonna go into one of mine and let's say I wanna go into iGel here. And within iGel, let's say I wanna share a piece of content. Uh, but I want to view it before I share it. So let's see what's a good one. So let's say I want to go into this iGel interactive product guide here. Of course, I can view it right through the share file UI. So I can see what's here. I can download it, print it. Um, of course, I have the I have premium edition, so I can initiate an approval workflow. Uh, but chances are, most of the time, you know, either you're going to check it out because you're working on it, or you're going to get a link and you're gonna share this piece of content. So you might have, if you've ever been shared anything via Sharefile, this might look familiar to you. You get a, a link, you send that over to the user and the user can download that piece of content. Um, you could actually put controls around this link as well. So you can see here, I can say, 
hey, I, I want only employees to be able to access this. And they're going to have to actually log into ShareFile to access this piece of content. I want only my clients or employees to log in, but still I want them to be able to authenticate in order to prove who they are. Or maybe I'm just gonna make this more relaxed and I'm gonna allow anyone to actually access this, but I want their name and email to be required when accessing this piece of content. And when it is accessed, I wanna be emailed that the file has been downloaded or, or you know, so to speak. You could also put an expiration time on this. So I could say, you know, this is never gonna expire or maybe after one week, I'm gonna just kill this link completely so nobody else can download this piece of content. Or maybe I wanna just say, hey, after one download, I'm gonna kill the link so this file cannot be downloaded again. So you have certain controls you can put around this link that you're sharing. So I'm gonna cancel out of that. I'm gonna go back here. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanna show you guys here. I think that's pretty much it here. Um, let's jump to the Outlook plugin just so you can see what that looks like. So you can see here I have, let's say I'm writing an email. I have uh, both a convert attachment option for share file as well as attach file. So these are you know, my different share file options here. So you can see I can attach it from Citrix, which is directly through my share file storage or also, also I can attach it locally and this will be converted into share file automatically. Um, just for you know simple terms. Oh, one other thing too, if I do attach locally, I can hit convert attachments and that'll convert it automatically for me. But let's say I want to share something from Citrix. So I'll go into my folders here. Let's go into mine and let's go, where's iGel? Let's go to iGel and let's say I want to do that same guide that I was in before. Uh, which one was it? I'm probably just missing it. Okay, okay, let's just do this one, why not? So we're gonna try and share that one. You can see it's just sending it as a link. You can change this if you want it just to send as a link rather than um, this nice user interface, you can absolutely do that. Um, similarly, if I wanna attach from a local, you'll see, let's say I choose my own image, you'll see it's gonna convert that automatically as a Citrix attachment into the share file control plane and send it over that way. So this is a really neat feature. As I mentioned before, this is one common reason why a customer would switch over to Advanced Edition is for this Outlook plugin because it just makes it easier when sharing content between um, employees as well as with customers. Um, and, and another immediate benefit is because you're sending this via a link, it's gonna be downloaded on demand. So you're not bogging down your network by sending a large one or two gig attachment. Let's say I'm trying to send an ISO file well, that's a big file. Um, rather than sending that over the network, it's gonna be access on demand through, through share files. So that's a, another great use case for this. So that's another method for, for sharing content. I mentioned before that we also have the ability of installing something called Citrix Files, which is a native application on Windows. And within Citrix Files, just to have an example here, you can see you can map a share file drive on your local PC. So most of the time you'll call it you know, S drive for share file. You can specify the, the drive letter if you want to. It's gonna be a very similar experience. So I can go in, I can still go to my folders. You can see all the stuff is the same. I can go back to iGel here. And if I wanna send the Citrix and iGel better together, you can see I have all those pieces of content. I can drag and drop something from my local PC into share file directly through um, this interface here. And similarly, I can share from this as well, as well as I can check this out. So I can check it, check out this file so nobody else on my team can work on this while I'm working on this piece of content. Um, so if I go ahead and I hit share, again, I can email it if I want to initiate a workflow, but most of the time I'm gonna probably grab a link here and I'll move this over for you guys. And very similarly, you know, I have the option for the link. I can edit that link option just like I could from, from the web UI. So a lot of options. It's very intuitive from an end user perspective. If any of your end users have ever used Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, it's just a more secure version than, than some of those other options that are out there. Uh, and what I always like to say is if you don't give your employees the ability to securely share content, especially if they're sharing content with, with their customers, they're gonna find other ways to do it. 
and it's not secure to send that over a solution like Dropbox because it's unencrypted. At least ShareFile provides those security controls around the solution. So if you are sharing a sensitive piece of information over to your customer, at least you, you, know, you, you have peace of mind knowing that there's some, curious, some security around that. Uh, so to quickly go into people here, so this is more from an admin side, we have both employees as well as clients we can create here. So I could go to browse clients, I can create a client, I can enter their, their first name, their last name, their email address, their company, I can assign them individual directories. So if I wanna go in here and let's say I wanna give them access to this battle cards directory here, I can set those permissions for that client. I can say, hey, I wanna give you the ability to upload, but I don't want you to be able to download any pieces of content that are in here. I'm using this strictly for you to send you know, requests over to me. Uh, and by the way, you can do that through the Outlook plugin as well. Probably should have showed that. You can go in and you can request files. And here you can see it's actually gonna send the user a link to request a piece of content, just so you can see what that looks like. Um, so they, if they enter their, their name here, uh, let's go continue. You can just drag and drop the, the file into that request field. Uh, going back, oh, didn't want to do that. Let's go back here. Um, so yeah, so you can set all these permissions on the folder level. You can add them to a distribution group. Once you send this request, it's gonna send it to their email so they have to actually go in and create a password. So there is a, a password creation for here. So you can see all the clients that are available. Uh, and again, these don't use licenses. Only employees are gonna leverage a share file license. So you're paying per employee license. Uh, so personal settings, trying to think if there's anything here worth showing. Um, so that's FTP. Let's see, let's go to admin settings here. All right, so here we can see exactly the number of licenses that are being used. Um, Anything I wanna show here? I know there's the ability to edit some branding here so you can add logos and things of that nature. Um, billing, don't need to show that. Log on and security policy. So of course you can enable two-factor authentication both for employees as well as clients here. And I think that's pretty much it. There is a section where you can create those connectors. Um, can't remember where those are at, but note that as I mentioned before, you can create different connectors uh, to, to like OneDrive, Google Drive, so you can display those for the user as well. So if we go back to, uh, let's go back here. If we go back to folders as an example, under shared folders, um, actually I think it'd be around here somewhere, you'd see those abilities to view the, the documents that live in your OneDrive or Google Drive account. Last thing, um, really quick, if we go back to the feature matrix here, if anything resonates with you and you wanna try it out and test out ShareFile, the nice thing is they do provide a 30-day trial. So you can actually go in, um, actually let's not do it from here. If you go to sharefile.com, it's probably the, the better way. Hit try for free. And here you can get a free 30-day trial for five users um, with unlimited, unlimited with quotes storage. So it's a uh, hundred gigs, I believe per, on a per user basis um, for, for the trial. So you can go in and request that and you can actually try out the solution. So I, I hope that was helpful for all of you, at least getting a first glance into ShareFile's capabilities and, and what you can do with the solution. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to write in the comment box below. I'll try to get to those if you have any questions. And if not, hopefully this was useful for y'all. Um, thanks, and until the next time, bye.